everyone, this is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the one-stop shop for social media communication. So in this um, uh, overview uh, of the blog, I am going to talk about uh, how I was able to build a power app um, using a mobile device as the one-stop shop for social media communication, where I can um, go ahead and post um, an announcement in a single place and then using Flow, I can go ahead and present it into these four other uh, social media networks, such as Twitter, Facebook, um, Yammer, and, and uh, Slack. Um, in addition, um, in, in the app itself, the Power App, uh, what I did was went ahead and added a functionality that was actually really helpful in the past. Um, if you remember back in the day, in, uh, in Twitter would allow 140 characters, um, there was this little count, uh, which would say that you have you know, three characters remaining and uh, that kind of went away. Uh, but the beauty of Power App is uh, you can you know, build things from scratch. Um, and so the Power App that I've built, I've actually bought this functionality back. Um, so you'll see now in the, in the uh, overview that I'm gonna do how I actually have that feature that if it has anything to do with uh, Twitter, you will get a character count. Uh, so let me now go ahead and demonstrate that to you. Uh, I'll show my app directly from uh, uh, Microsoft Dynamics. So here's the app, um, social, and I go ahead and click on it. Uh, you'll see that it actually has that direct uh, mobile look over here because that's what I, I built it as. It's the mobile look. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and put in an announcement and say, this is a test. And for this sake, I'm going to go ahead and make it um, the announcement to go to all my networks. So I'll click all. And now you'll notice that the character count shows up over here. Um, so when I start typing in that this is a test to use the social uh, media app that I have built. See, as, so now that I've typed in all of these, uh, there's a couple of things hap that happen. We get the character count uh, that I showed over there. Um, then I also get this little graph type of functionality to show how close it is. This is actually what you see right now in Twitter. Uh, so I bought that back as well. And if you've noticed, this color over here is also slowly changing. Uh, it used to be white, now it's kind of lightish, pink, lightish uh, red. And then the, when you start getting close to the 280 characters, it'll really go red. So let me just do a quick test over here. And the text that I'm putting in actually has a few things. Um, it has hashtags uh, over here, the hashtag uh, Power Apps, Microsoft Flow. It also has a URL. Because I'm interested to see how that URL will actually post in things such as Twitter and Facebook. Um, so let me actually keep typing, and I'll say, and end it with to learn more about Power Apps. Go to uh, this also has links to the community um, for questions and for blogs. Hope. And when I started typing in hope, um, I just put in the H and I realized I can't type anything else. I mean, I'm, I'm trying, but I just can't. Uh, that's because I've reached the 280 character uh, limit over here because all, the network all, includes Twitter as well. So if I were to say take this off and put in, say, Facebook, then watch what happens. The count disappears, and now I have the option to type in more. So hope. Uh, this will help others as much as it has helped me. And so I can keep typing. Uh, but if I change my mind and go ahead and bring all back, um, it still shows me the same 280 characters, and um, I come back to the original place over here. So let me go ahead and delete that H, um, and I'll just go ahead and send it. And now what's happening is the flow is running. It's picking up this um, text that I put in. It's also picking up to see what was the network that I used. And uh, it's going ahead and sending it out to all the other networks. Um, so let's actually go check out those networks or the social media uh, places. So now I come over here. I basically just refresh my Facebook page. And as you can see, it goes ahead and posts it. The links show up well. The hashtags show up well. So it actually works really well um, in Twitter. Again, just going ahead and refreshing it. And the same thing happened. See, so this just came in 27 seconds ago. And all of the, the hashtags show up, the links show up. Let's look at um, Yammer. Go to all. 
and same thing 50 seconds ago that showed up and then finally in slack i got the announcement as well um but, but what the other thing i did want to point out is you see over here in the app um i have um this little section over here i mean besides the character count the title and the, and the actual twitter text um this the icons over here actually show me where this social uh, media announcement went to so you know just to make sh sure that this actually works and it's not just smoke and mirrors um, i'll go ahead and try another one where i'll just take um this is test two take that off post it to say facebook and i'll type in that remaining text which is hope this helps others um make their social announcements easier and faster so now i go ahead and click send uh what will happen is it should directly only go to facebook because that's how i've built the flow that's one thing second thing is only the facebook icon shows up over here um so that's really a neat way just as a one section you can immediately see that oh this one over here went to all of them this one over here just went to facebook and then you can read the text it's just to also confirm i go to my facebook and i just refresh it and you should see the next po post that also shows up over here and there it is hope this helps uh, others make the social announcements easier and faster so this is the overview of the actual app um, as you look at the blogs i've provided the steps as to how you can go ahead and um, you know build this for yourself um, and one of the things I've done in the blog is I've also provided this SharePoint um, STP file or this list. Uh, this is for my SharePoint, for SharePoint Online. Um, if you want, um, you can basically just use that STP file or you can go ahead and uh, add these columns the exact same way um, and it'll all work. So uh, stay tuned for the rest of the blog and just follow the steps. Thanks.